embarrassing. My video ran out, um, but I'll redo. I pulled over. Um, so Governor Young can, and, and a team of people could come up with plans on focus on um, training children to do careers that they want to do. That's it. That's all. Concentrate on that, not much about the grades so much. Um, love to play dress up. Love to play dress up. That's imaginative play. I don't see costumes in classes. I remember taking my daughter to the um, children's museum and they have a whole set up about dressing up and playing. I'm like, why don't we do that in schools? Um, astronauts, doctors, nurses. Oh, the imaginations of these children are so wonderful. Newscasters. Oh yeah, they love to pretend they're newscasters. What happens? Why do we have to go to school and sit in desks? What, what is that? I tried being a nurse. I dressed up. I actually had nurses, white nurses outfits. And um, I did a little painting about it. And I was playing around with one of Tom Waits songs about a, a nurse with red hair. Because it wasn't for me. I mean, I could be caring, but not that caring. Um, bless those nurses. But, um... Let's find the careers that go with these children. And don't worry so much about grades. Of course, they got to pass the test to be a plumber, a doctor, a teacher. Yeah, but you can't really tell in second or third grade. You know, why, why give the stigma of like, oh, you got to see? Why well, say you're creative? So let's find you a career that you're interested in. And let's look at it and learn about it and things like that. And then see if they get the then get the test. And you know, as a horse trainer, honestly, I wasn't that good. I have professional friends that were much better than me, and I can accept that. You know, I'm okay. You know, I'm okay with that. I know what level horse I can get and not kill myself or other people. My kids were all safe. You know, I I accepted that. You know, and as a, as a child, you may not. You may think you're going to be just the Olympic champion. But once you get to be adulthood, you can accept the fact that that's probably not going to be your vocation because you don't have a real gift for it. You know, you may be creative and you may have a talent, but you may not have a real gift for it, you know, and that's okay. Children can accept that too as time goes by, but let them be creative and find a career that interests them because we need a world full of all different kinds of careers and all different kind of jobs and, and we can't let any of these kids fit through the cracks, please. Thank you.